computing the parity reward version 2. If you haven't seen the first version, uh, please take a look at it. Um, I have a link to the, to the first video in the description section of this video. Um, so this, this particular solution is actually using a pretty cool uh, bit, bit fiddling trick. Um, and the, the trick is basically x ended with x minus 1. This is, um, if you do this, apply this uh, bit, bit, bitwise operation, you're basically going to um, unset the, the um, last lowest set bit uh, on the x. Um, I'm not sure if it makes sense. Let me just repeat it again. If you apply an, op an operation with x minus 1, you're going to basically erase the, the last set bit of x. For example, if x is, let's say, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, and um, if you take this and you, you end it with x minus 1, and x minus 1 would be 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, I believe. Is that correct? You unset that, and then you have 3, 1. Yes. Um, and then if you end this, let's actually carry these numbers here. 1, 1, 1. 0, 0, 1, 0. If you end these, then you're going to get 0, 0, 0. This last, that was the lowest set bit, it's going to become 0, 0, 1, 0. So when we apply this bit filling trick, what happens is the lowest set bit, which was 1 here, gets unset. So you end up with basically the remaining ones. If there was another 1 here, we would have carried that over too. So the solution is basically relying on this particular bit filling trick. If you take um, uh, if you take that, so yeah, you're still uh, calculating the result as the previous res um, solution, which is going to be set to zero, and we're going to iterate through x as we did before, and we're going to for each uh, because of the fact that we are unsetting the set bit as we iterate through in each iteration, we can just basically um, Take the result, x or it with one, and unset, erase the lowest set bit of x. So we basically take x and end it with x minus one, and then return result. Let me just explain it one more time. So what happens is, as we are iterating through x, it in each iteration we are going to unset a set bit. So what that means is every time we are iterating, we are actually not going through each bit, we are actually going through each set bit. So in this particular example, we're gonna iterate through twice, we're gonna unset this bit, and we're gonna unset this bit. That is why we are not actually um, XORing the result with what we did in the previous example. If you didn't, actually, if, you, if you were going through every single bit, we would have had to take the result and x or it with x ended with 1 because we would be looking at the last bit but we are not doing it in this case what we are really doing is we are actually unsetting a set bit we know that was 1 and then and then xoring it with 1 so if there were in this particular example you have two set bits so you're going to actually apply this twice xor with 1 and xor with 1 again then the result will be 0 and it's going to return zero parity. So I want to make sure this makes a lot. This makes sense to everybody. So compared to the first solution that we had, which went through every single bit, this particular solution will only go through set bits one, one, and it's going to unset it every single time it passes through, and XOR the result with one, and then it return it at the result at the end. So the previous solution was O of n and is number of bits. Uh, this particular solution is um, O of number of set bits in a given word. That means in this case it is 2. So it is O of 2. Um, and if there was, uh, I mean, it's still linear compared to number of bits, but it's linear to number of set bits. So it's going to be performing better compared to the first solution.